Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is another video by MattSixWade1 and uh, basically what we're going to be covering today on this video is a Slash 4x4, uh, the upcoming build of it and stuff. Um, I do have some footage of me building it and whatnot. Uh, for those of you who wanted to see that, I just haven't uploaded it yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not, but um, uh, we'll see how that turns out. And another thing is saying thank you again for this uh, giveaway. Everyone that uh, got included or whatever, it was very good. Um, and I'm so proud that I went up to 600 subscribers and uh, let's keep that going and stuff I will be having more giveaways for sure um, And if you if uh, Frank is watching this, uh, which is the person who won this um, Which he did uh, PM me at your address. So uh, he lives pretty close uh, not too far away So um, I'll be getting that shipped out to you today. So that's for you, buddy um, And congratulations again for that uh, but mainly what we're going to be covering today is a little bit of an update on the workshop and uh as you were probably wondering where the camera is right now, it's actually uh, on the wall where my studio is and stuff. Um, this is just a plain wall or whatever. I'm not sure if I'm going to put uh, a blanket or something here. So when I do my videos, i got a nice background. But um, for now, guys, uh, this is what you've been waiting for, probably. i got a lot of uh, personal messages here. And this is the Slash 4x4 so far. Uh, it's turning out really good. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the body off here. Uh, everything's stock in it so far, but I'm going to be upgrading it a lot. Um, as you can see, I got a brand new Valineon system in there. I uh, just ordered that a couple days ago when that came in. Um, I got a 2S, um, 2S battery here, 20C, 4000 milliamp hour from Venom. Um, I got the stock tires from BF Goodrich on there with some Proline rims. Those mounted right on there. Um, got the Progressive Spring. Uh, these are the hard black ones. Uh, well, they're actually white, but they're the uh, tan on them is black. And same with the rear. Uh, I got 60 weight oil on the front, and I got 45 weight oil on the rear. Uh, so that works out perfect for balancing. So this looks pretty good. This is brand new. Um, everything's complete on this. Uh, I can hardly wait to get some videos with you guys, uh, for you guys with this. Um, with the Slash 4x4 and the Stampede 4x4. Um, so that's that build. Um, not too much on that, but there will be lots of upgrades coming for it as well. So I can hardly wait to do that for you guys. Um, so I, and I will be doing lots of parts hauls too as well. Uh, with like all the uh, RC parts that I get in and stuff. I don't know if you guys like that. If you guys like that I uh, unbox all my parts. If I get a big shipment in, then hit the like button and comment down below if you guys just say if you guys like the um, unboxings or whatnot. Um, and if I should do some more. I'm not sure if you guys like that or not, but... That's why I'm asking you guys, so uh, that's it for the Slash 4x4. I'm going to be getting a lot of tire options and stuff for it, but uh, for right now, it's completely stock and brand new. So we're going to get you guys moved on here with the uh, update. So I'm going to pull you guys off of here, and let's see here. All right, so as you can see down here, it is all floored um, with the spongy um, diamond plate stuff. Uh it's very, very clean. I just um, floored the whole place with it. It cost 70 bucks to do the whole flooring, uh, but instead of carpet in here, it looks a lot better, and it's a lot spongier on your feet. Um, so, yeah, I got all that stuff. Uh, works awesome, and, um, yeah, so it's uh, very good for working on when you're standing up for a long time, and it just, uh, what I basically did was I just grabbed the full sheets and cut them to the right length against the wall, and it's right snug to the wall, so... That's pretty good, and it goes right under there as well. It goes right around the uh, workbench. And then over here, I plan on putting bunk beds behind there. There's uh, quite a bit of room back there as well. And this was the room, uh, this was the wall that I was just talking on. Um, and then there's another wall here. I'm not sure what I should do for that. But uh, I also made this snack cupboard here for my workshop, just in addition for you guys, um, for actually my friends that come over. I uh, just got a bunch of snacks in there and stuff for if they ever get hungry. It's kind of empty right now, but made that in shop class. And made this here. This holds my camera and whatnot. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. Just made that in uh, class two as well. Um, it's pretty easy. I just make a lot of stuff there. And slash four and four. And if you guys are wondering with all these bodies here, uh, these were underneath the uh, um, desk over there. But uh, now I just have them here. I just haven't figured out a place to put them yet. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm actually looking at getting a boat as well. Uh, I'm not sure what kind to get. Get if you guys want to recommend one. Um, 
Here, we'll take a look here. Uh, it's got to be in the price range. I just want to get started on boats. It's got to be the price range between 150 bucks and like or lower or whatever. Uh, and it's okay if it's 160 bucks. I want it to be okay size, uh, not some tiny thing going across the uh, water. But I was looking at this one, and I was also looking at, uh, let's check here, this Aquacraft one as well. Um, it's the Aquacraft uh, Mini Mono. Let me know if you sh if I should get that or not. If it's a good uh, if it's a good buy to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not sure. I was looking into it. and It seems like it was pretty good, and uh, I'm just not sure what to do yet. So uh, let me know what's uh, out there. Um, I can't really find it right now, but um, let's take a look here. There it is. Um, 139 br bucks. Uh, it's brushless and it's 2.4 gigahertz, so that's pretty good. Um, but uh, let me know if I should get that or any other suggestions post down below in the comments as well as letting me know if you guys want any more unboxings uh, so yeah over here is just uh, basic stuff with the workshop you guys all know uh, there's the Trax Emacs um, there's the Mini Mono uh, just for ripping around and the T-Max and the SC10 and then the Mini 8 here and then the uh, Axial SCX10, and what I did with these is actually, I like the stock tires better than the RC four-wheel drive. Um, uh, what are these, the Mudslingers? Yeah, RC four-wheel drive Mudslingers. They look a little goofy because they were smaller than these tires, so I figured at 1.9 tire, it would be fine if I just um, put them in boiling hot water and uh, took them off the stock rims and put them on these nice rims because I like these rims a lot better with the actual beadlock. And they fit perfect on there, so that's good, and it looks really sweet, so I like how that turned out. Um, and, uh, yeah, what was uh, here is the Slash 4 before, and that's over there. So a lot more cars will be coming soon, guys. Uh, also the Stampede's up there as well. Um, but a lot of cars will be coming soon. I uh, just got to get uh, with working and stuff like that and everything else. So there's my parts wall. I got a bunch of stuff here, uh, like a bunch of spare parts and axial stuff. And over there, along with them as well, and um, yeah, just overall a bunch of parts, uh, everything that usually breaks on my cars, uh, that will be gaining up a lot too. I already gave away a set of two of these in that box, and those tires and everything else, so um, getting pretty low on supplies, but I'll stock back up soon. Uh, this tire rack here I made out of uh, hockey sticks, uh, which is pretty cool, it uh, holds down the tire, you just kind of put it in there as well. And uh, I figured, why not? It's a snap hockey stick, so I made some use out of it. Um, but yeah, that's bringing it up for the uh, RC video here. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. And let me know if you guys want anything or request a video. PM me or put down in the comments as well if there is any video that you guys would like to see. And uh, comment, dislike, or like, uh, whatever way. It lets me know what's going on and stuff. So um, for that, guys, I'll uh, be talking to you guys in the next video. And Peace out. Have a good one.